Welcome back heroes, there's a more Pokemon Crown. Last episode we went through the Silver Silk Cave and we had our first battle with a Guardian Pokemon. The Ariados was very, very difficult but we managed to beat it and now we can start like evolving our Pokemon because our level is high enough. We got like Charmeleon, we got Pidgeotto, we got Luxio, our team's looking pretty good. And now we're gonna go ahead and take on the first gym leader which is just up here at the church. This won't be forgotten. Word travels swiftly for the church and you'll be wise to remember that. Sure, why not? Wow! It's looking nice. All right, in we go. Yeah, guys, you've got to get a shot of that church. It's, it's too beautiful just to have, like, just standing there. <laughs> no attention drawn to it, but, um... Hi. I've come to pray for my lifelong friend, Marowak. May Arceus guide his soul. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I've visited this church for as long as I can remember. But have you know that the holy church wasn't always like this? They didn't always hold this much power. I... Perhaps I've said too much. Better take my leave. Oh. Interesting. Uh, the Holy Church preaches about Arceus' love for all life. I hope I'll feel that love at the end of mine. Let's talk to you two. So attending sermons and uh, praying in this church really puts my mind in solid ease. I'm teaching my child these customs in hopes of him finding that some comfort when he's older. My mummy takes me to church once every week. She says that praying to Arceus will bring us all good fortune and health. Hey, oh, oh, hey, it's you again. Does this look like a gym to you? I don't see any sign of Matilda at all. This has to be some kind of mistake. I bet the church is up to something. Oh, we'll see. Lord Arceus watches over us all. Only believers are welcome here as we accept Arceus's love. These holy grounds are not for bug trainers to defile in battles. Okay. Are you the gym leader, maybe? Uh, you must have been the one that defeated my men at the entrance. Word travels fast in a town as small as uh, Villamonton. Uh, such as such a small place indeed. Too small to make room for an entire Pokemon gym. You're a capable trainer. In fact, you might have a shot at defeating Matilda's loyal goons. Without them, Matilda will surely find another place to build her bug gym. You're also a believer in peace in Arceus. I see that in you. This is what Arceus would want. Won't you wipe out Matilda's heretics downstairs for us? Uh, yeah, sure. You're battling for a just cause. Move this slab and you will find where you need to go. Okie dokie, slide the slab. Ooh. And down we go. Got a side. Yay! Bless me, sorry. Got a side quest. A greetings, recruit. I see you have found your way to your first gym. Many trainers have strived to seek greatness, but very few have what it takes to become a crown champion. I wonder, do you? Uh, who are you? Who am I? Who am I is far less important than what, what I do. I guide those brave enough to rise to greatness. I assume you wish to challenge leader Matilda? Yeah, I do. Then I shall pass on some advice. What would you like to know? Um... Strategy. Haha, <laughs> you amuse me. You're correct in thinking that gym battles gym battle, uh, vary greatly from standard battles, but I dare not ruin the surprise. Let us see how prepared you are. Okay. Uh, type in. Matilda specializes in bug type Pokemon which gain the swarm type bonus. That allows their AGI stat to constantly rise during battle. It also grants them more damage when they attack the same enemy. Watch out for killing blows as those will increase the AGI of all her Pokemon. Oh no. Um, Matilda was born of a royal bloodline, but shed her status to aid Gilda in battle. She is a celebrated veteran and responsible for many of Gilda's close victories during the war. What would you like to know? Okay, so that's all. Until next time, recruit. There's an item down there. Can we get down there? Yes, we can. If we go down here. Very crooked ladder, but hey oh. Those priests outside are a pain. They gave me a good warm up. Let's battle. Alright. Ooh, Snom! Snom, Beedra, and Ladybug. See, I'm starting to think the S Silver Silk Cave, we're probably supposed to do that after this. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, these are a lot lower level than the. than the Ariados, that's for sure. Let's just start the battle. Probably supposed to come here, get the experience from the uh, the quest. Look how slow Rifle is. Get the experience to like level up your adventure rank, so you can level up higher. Get like a level 20 or whatever to fight the Arios and have a good time. So maybe not do it the order I've done it in, because I feel like I yeah probably shouldn't have beat Ariados. And the, the fact I managed to do it was kind of a good surprise. Oh, okay, I see how this works. Most people don't know, but for their size, bugs are some of the strongest Pokémon around. Still don't like them. 
All right. Uh. Let's do this. Go get him. Almost there. Got to get healed up before we uh, take on the gym leader. hundred percent. If I keep losing like this, I'll lose my ability to train here. Good. Surely only strong trainers should be uh, allowed to be a, you know, a gym trainer. Don't want weak ones. Oh, uh, hi. Filthy creatures. Hey, how dare you sneak up on me like that? Have you no manners? I know you're kind. And you would be uh, do best to remove yourself. Post haste, go. Uh, sorry. I guess. <laughs> oh, there's a campfire here. Nice. That saves me running all the way back to the uh, town just to heal up and come back. But us bug trainers know a thing or two about numbers. The key to victory is to swarm your opponent. Yeah, don't like. Oh my god, that's a lot, isn't it? That's fine. We good, we good. I've got to put Rohan in a better position against some of these fights early on because he's just so slow. Whew. All right, I would use more than six Pokemon if I could. Me too. <laughs> Me too. All right, uh, just checking. None of our, no other Pokemon can evolve, can it? Uh, oh. Uh, no, okay, we good, we good. Look at the Ariados just chilling. Oh, wow! Got like a Heracross helmet that looks so cool. A challenger approaches. Heracross, you there. Challenger, who are you and from where do you hail? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Catanad, yo. <laughs> well met, Voltsy, from the distant Nylos region. I've heard tales of your people. I'm the queen to my bug Pokemon and for my contributions in the uh, Galdarian War. I'm known as Matilda, Heavy Axe of Gelda. During the battle for Mare Time, my bugs and I found ourselves between enemy lines. We fought restlessly against the endless invaders at the uh, Western Gate. We persevered. Every bug Pokemon will fight relentlessly to protect their hive, colony, and home. While a single Pokemon is defeated, a hive will repel even the strongest of foes. I'm the war hero that saved Fort Mare Time and the proud keeper to, to a Gelda Swarm Badge. Can you best my bugs? I'll try, but I'm liking the music here. Oh, okay, got Skorupi straight in front of me. Is it just a Skorupi? That can't be right. There's no way that's right. Let's do this. I mean, if we were supposed to do this first, then maybe, but... That was easy. Not bad at all. But in the trenches of war, we always fight battles of attrition. A single victory isn't enough. Okay. That's fine. Uh, switch these. That'll do. I do love the music. Easy, let's go. Woo! I beat a guardian. You think you can beat me? Do you feel tired? Not at all. Your opponent becomes bolder as you show weakness. Are you capable of uh, metamorphosis, Faultsy? Might be. Haven't tried. But uh, 20, 20, 20. Okay, um. Gonna switch you like this. Yeah, this should work. It's got two on one each. Well, the hound is getting a little bit weak. It's fine, it's fine, because this groupie goes down the leddy end. Come on! Woo! That was close, hound I got so weak. So this is the power of bug Pokemon. A growing swarm of soldiers under the command of a single queen. Oh, it really is just battle after battle, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna take out Hound Dash. I'm a little bit weak. Go Goomy. I should be fine. Come on, come on. I got the Skorupi. And yeah, you guys focus on that. Nice. Give me tanking them hits. Oh, look at Raihorn go! <laughs> Raihorn went mad! <laughs> Raihorn getting that speed, man. Great battle, but it's not over. The strongest soldiers are kept closest to the queen. Heracross, let's drag Faulty into the swarm. 
Oh, okay, so it's got to be the final battle now with Heracross. Right. Uh, I'm going to switch you. Uh, do that. Oh, Heracross has a lot to Pidgeotto. I thought Pidgeotto would absolutely smash Heracross. Oh my god, Heracross going in! Oh, this is very tough. We're gonna lose this. Look at Heracross go! He's just, he's just... It's the AGI, isn't it? From... Oh my god. Okay. Um... Well, that was intense. Okay, so this gym leader is uh, very, very difficult. So I think we'll come back... A little bit later on because I am struggling with this. Cannot beat that Heracross. It's just so, so powerful. I went and caught like a, um, I found a Pikachu, I found a Natu. I thought, okay, might help a little bit better than what we got. And uh, it just really did not make a difference, to be honest. So we'll come back for this gym in a little bit because there's still a lot we can do. And when I went to go and try and find some more Pokemon over here. So we go down here to Shadewood Crossing. We can battle this witch here. There's a side quest here I didn't pick up, so let's go and do this. Here lies the Marowak that sacrificed everything to save its child and train it from invasion. May your birthplace give peace to your resting soul, my best friend. So ground here has some fresh footprints and the grave is a little dug up. Perhaps it deserves some further investigation. Yeah, sure. Alright. Wait, can I, uh, I can dig this now, can't I? Use my shovel, because we bought the shovel last episode. Just doing some grave digging. Hey! I mean, the person's dead. He doesn't need a uh, Pokeball, does he? It's all good. Right, so the quest. Let's check this quest out. Laid to rest. So fresh footprints are around this tombstone. Okay. I know that person I spoke to in the church about this, but... Um, switch this. And then we'll yeah, take these out real quick. Get a little bit of experience. Hey, Luxio 21, nice. Um, hi. Up ahead is Creation Falls. Are you ready to make the grueling uh, pilgrimage inside? I might be. But we know that we've got a side quest to actually deal with someone who's outside Mount Creation, who's uh, trying to charge people to go through, so we can take them out, get a bit of experience. Uh, should we, yeah, there you are. Actually, uh, I just lost this guy. He is very, very difficult. We do not want to fight him just yet. He's got level 27 Primeape. So uh, we'll come back a little bit later on, but I come here to eat lunch by the waterfalls. I'll never go inside Mount Creation, though. Here the Pokemon are really powerful. Ooh, I could do with some powerful Pokemon right now. All right, let's get healed up. And then we'll steal some berries. Absolutely. Scumbag Volty back at it again. Stealing all the berries. We haven't got rock climbs. We can't go up or down to get them berries. I think there's an area to the right we can check out. But I think, ooh, Scrafty could be good actually. Let's start the battle. Wait for it, wait for it. Now. Still ready for a fight? Oh, okay, so if we, uh... Come on, there you go. Uh, seems hungry. Give an orange berry. He's got four hearts out of six. That should be fine. Nice. A melee defender. That could be very good. Alright. If we go down here, we can get some berries. I think the best thing to do is probably go to Lockholm. Alright, get all this. Now some more berries to the right. Another scrap is probably to take you out. Nice. Two more berries and then three more berries there. And I'm assuming like, unless the game scales with us, if we like do some quests and lock home, grow a few levels and then we can go back to the gym, we should be high enough level maybe, hopefully. So the lock is as majestic as it is mysterious. Some say at the right time of day you can see mysterious Pokemon rising from the water. Oh, you want to fight? Um. Not the best matchup for us, but... Brute Force our way, we got six Pokemon, you got two. Easy! <laughs> Nobody knows how deep the lock really is. 
Hey, give me 19, sweet. Uh, nothing down here. Right. So let's go back. And we want to, um, get a lock home. Unless, do we go down here? No, there's nothing down here. We'll, we'll fly back to the village because it'll be a lot quicker. Let's talk to you. Uh, Seaside City. Actually, you got to pay for it. Mm, I'll, I'll run back. It's not even the town I think I even want to go to. So let me get healed up. Right, I'll see you guys back at... Uh, let's look at the map. I will actually look and give this to... Um, it's crafty. But I'm going to cut back to Everbloom Town. And then from there, we'll go east. Down King's Road. Get to Lockholm. So I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Alright, so we're back at Everbloom. So we can actually... Um, I've got a message coming up saying I can uh, evolve Gumi. So we'll do that. Also, I missed a little area. We can go and do the quest for uh, Cassian and the Earl. So if we go slightly to the west, we can go down here. There you go. Hold it right there. You need to share some of that gold you've got on you? Okay. Uh, a little 18 Imbidim, that's fine. Get destroyed. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, I blew it. You can keep the gold for today. Oh, you bet your butt. Well, ooh. If I can take the axe then for a second, that'd be nice. Uh, let me just go and grab these berries. Oh, a Vulpix. That would actually be very helpful. I have three fire types. So take out one. And then we can... Probably just throw a ball. You're pretty weak. There you go. Two arts. All good. That's really nice. That extra Vulpix might help with the gym battle. I think for the extra... Oh, a Rolts as well. Hmm. I'll catch it, but... Still ready for a fight. Pawn. And then we go... Boom. Nice, got some decent Pokemon around here. Hey, oh. So I've been ordered to make sure no one enters the cabin. Good to know. Oh, I should be fine. All my revenge. When you first battled me, I was a rookie trainer. Now I'm not so rookie. Hey, it's like 21. Anything on this rock? Nope. Alright. Now busting down the door. What up? So I never had my victims approach me directly. I suppose I was too soft on you two at the outskirts. What is it you want? Uh. I'll catch Cassian or leave Cassian alone. Every time Cassian accumulated the gold to open his own shop, the Earl would send him out on a job. The Earl would tip me off and I'd get the goods from the delivery. Of course Cassian is on the hook for all of this. The Earl is a clever man. He must have known you were a sympathizer. Naturally, he wants me to take care of you. I wonder what kind of reward I'll receive for this job. Oh, so they're, well, I mean, they are, I can kind of tell the Earl was going to be kind of a bad person, but... Uh, let's see. Let's push you around here. You on the back, and that will do. Look at Raihorn just slowly, he's like, I'm coming, I'm coming. Old man Raihorn coming for the fight. <laughs> hey. Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Looks like you've gotten stronger. A thief is an opportune hunter. I know I've been uh, a bit off more than I can chew. However, you do not. The old hero of this, and there will be consequences. Like how the story can progress. Have we got a dagger? Hmm. How do we get that chest? Not how you get to it. Oh, got a nugget. Wait. Okay. Uh, is this? Oh, I know where we are now. Yeah. Got return rope, sweet. And back over. All good. So I'm guessing if we speak to Cassian next, we can let him know. Uh, I've got no quest for it, but I'm, I'm assuming we want to speak to Cassian, but we want to go east. 
hopefully it's not too difficult over here. So King's Road. Did you know that Pokemon gain the same amount of experience regardless of the amount of Pokemon you decide to draft? Good. Well, you got a Togepi. That'll be easy. Okay, you don't need lessons from me. I'll tell you that only Pokemon who battle gain experience. Did you know the Pokemon two levels under your trainer level gain boosted experience? Oh, I did not. That's actually really cool. Um, I do want to train up. Oh, uh, Natu a little bit. Actually, I should put, go get the Vulpix out. Turn up the Vulpix. Wait, 22 levels up? Level now? 22, okay. I want to make sure we are ready for um, the gym leader. The Heracross is just way too strong. I can't remember where the crystal is. If there even is a crystal in this place. From the look of it, there is not. Right, okay. Guess what, I can train Vulpix later on. It's not too hard to train this game at all. Uh, when I capture Pokemon, I try to single out the one that I want to capture. Mm, just, yeah, go to the battle. I don't think the battles around here are going to be any difficult. Should be fine. Oh, is that a statue of Arceus? But the gates at Lockholm don't open up for just anyone. How about a battle while we wait? Sounds good. Could be a... Um, these gates are locked and we have to get a gym badge first before going in. I could see that being a thing. Good show. Your Pokemon have potential and so do you, young one. As you challenge trainers like me or complete quests, you will level up alongside your Pokemon. Oh. I grow tired of travelling. See to it that this gate is open without delay. Yes, of course, young master... Adair. Attention guards are Lockholm. Open the gates. The seventh heir to the throne, Adair, has arrived. Lower the bridge. Open the gates! A member of the royal family has arrived. Clear the gates! Ooh. Very good. We must make haste. Dogwood, you have, uh... You better have prepared some of the strongest Pokemon in Gelder for me. Ooh, interesting. We're able to go in. These gates don't open to anyone. We take security quite seriously around the here ever since the war. I can go in, nice, but I want to talk to you. So over the years, the city of Lock Holmes has evolved. We've seen the city expand more and more, and there are four major sectors, each housing a different class of people. This gate leads to the business district, where markets and entertainment are the main activities of the district. Okay. You know what, I'm thinking, because we've got the Vulpix now, and we've got Sligu, teams a little bit stronger, I think I could be ready to take on the gym leader now, and try this again. So uh, let me cut back to the gym leader so we can take him on. Here we go. We can do this. It's just very... Very difficult. Right. So these three need to set the back. These... I can take these three in. So these two are commission. These three are full HP. I want to try and take out Heracross first. Because the problem is, Heracross does so much damage. Paris is very slow. So if we bring them to us, Paris is going to take a very long time to get to us. So I think... I could take out the Carablast first. If I do this, bring these over here. I want Luxio Gop first. Pidgeotto, Charmeleon. I think this is the way to do it. All right, here we go. Our oh, Pidgeot is attacking Ledian. Oh no. Come on. This Lagoo's attacking Ledian. It's not the worst thing, actually. But I want everyone to attack Heracross if possible. Come on, come on. He's super weak. Problem is when he gets his, like, the AGI up after the damage. Okay, this is fine. We might actually do this this time. Oh, it's going to be tough. Come on, come on. Come on, quick. Take out the Carablast. Nice. So our three Rangers. I think we got it. I think we've done it. Come on. Yeah, Paris ain't going to do nothing. That was very difficult. Please, no more. No more. I can't go another round. Well fought, Voltsy. You showed grit, determination, and an unwavering will that kept focus during the unresting battle. As Keeper of the Swarm Badge, I tested you for that quality. You're deserving. Whew, that was incredibly difficult. But we did it. 
The road ahead is a long one, and I know you're capable. Ooh, okay. That was, uh, yeah, incredibly difficult. Man, that took so many attempts. Like, one of the losses, I even got like a little reward saying like, oh, you got the struggler badge or title I can put on. I'm like, oh, great. I'm so happy getting rewarded for sucking. <laughs> but, oh, I managed to do it. Like, I was thinking maybe better to try and leave Heracross last at one point, but then I, just, I think you had to take him out first. So the spot comes aflame. My sense about you was correct. Maybe the one I have been searching for. With that, I offer you a challenge. Defeat Gilda's best and prove your merit. Hey, okay. And then we talk to this dude. This uh, podium looks ex expensive. I better not touch it. Oh. <laughs> no matter the stature, every bug squirms. Don't well to shake the nest, but I'm afraid we need to go further, further than that. My aide has been keeping tabs on the happenings downstairs. I've come to discover a weakness. Their weakness. They consume a large amount of potions during gym challenges. We simply need to cut off their supply. We've prepared a solution from the... Ro the Rook's Guild? You simply need to sprinkle it into the potion barrel next to the guard. We'll handle the rest. What do you say? Willing to continue on this path as is laid out for us? Uh, I guess. Poison the shop keeps barrels. Ugh. As Father Alpha says, we need to rid ourselves of evil before we can heal these lands. Don't really want to do this, but... Quest is a quest. Where was the shop again? This one? Okay. Oh. Part of my job is to ensure that these merchants do their job with care. The League needs merchants to every city uh, for trainers to thrive. Potions are foul. Nonsense. Never heard that complaint. Not trying to get out of uh, paying for goods, are you? Here, let me show you. What is the foul odor coming from these potion barrels? Merchants! Yes, Knight? What's the matter? From the Kingdom's Authority, I must arrest you for selling poison product. Our potions aren't poisoned? Yeah. We have nightly checks on our inventory. Silence. You're coming with me. The kingdom will judge your crimes and if found guilty, you will spend your days in exile's hold. Oh, don't be so hasty. Bishop, your holiness, what brings you down to these small quarters? Knight of the crown, stand down. We cannot have villain wood without merchants, can we? Leave this to the church. We will oversee this operation and ensure to keep a quality befitting the church's good name. S sir, sir Bishop, you want me to let these merchants go after what happened here? Your holiness, thank you. Not at all. The church requires all criminals be dealt with. However, we cannot let uh, Villamton be without access to potions. The church will oversee this operation. Y yes, your holiness. Of course. Man, that's so sneaky. Come on, merchants. You're, st you're, uh, go you're to stay in exile's hold. Oh, and Knight of the Crown. The church prefers to operate without interference. Trust you'll find yourself guarding a different area, yes? Of course, Sir Bishop. I dare not offend the church. Very well. Tend to your business. Come on, you criminals. I feel so bad doing that. <laughs> Alright, well. I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Uh, next episode, we will, um, I guess, go into Lockholm. Bit of a ways to go. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.